Hey y'all, it's time for a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. And today I got a brew for you from Wallen, Tennessee. It's from the Blackberry Farm Brewery. And it's up there in East Tennessee. And uh, I'm gonna try to, I'm, I'm gonna try to start putting links to these uh, beer websites on my YouTube videos. Um, because these guys have a, man, Blackberry Farms is, is a remarkable, remarkable place. Um, I've never been there, but I went to the website, and man, it's just, it just blew me away, all the stuff they've got there. Um, it'd be a great place for a vacation, man, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, they're kind of heat tucked back in the mountains, man. It's a big old farm. They have a B&B there, and a brewery, and just all kinds of stuff. Restaurant, just really nice. Check out their website, y'all. Anyway, these guys, um, I've had a couple of their brews before and really, really liked them. Um, now, this one in particular is Blackberry Farm uh, Pilsner. It's, that's just a Pilsner. A classic Pilsner brewed with two-row Violetta malted from barley grown right here in Tennessee. 5% um, alcohol by volume. It's a 12-ounce can. But it's a Blackberry Farm Brewery Pilsner. Just simple as that. All right, so we're gonna see what this looks like here. Got a nice pour there. Ooh, mmm, look at that. Pretty pale straw color. It looks a little darker on the camera than it does here in real life, but hope the wind don't mess up my volume too bad. Not getting much aroma off of it, but man, the bubbles are just floating up through there. Man, it's just a pretty brew. Hope y'all can see them bubbles. Nice head, man, nice four-finger head. Coarse bubbles around the side, little fine bubbles on top. Oh. Oh man, all right. <laughs> Some of y'all may not be a fan of this, but. Hmm. I give the beer a hard pour so I can experience the flavor of the head, because it's always different from the body. And the head on this one, I tell you, man, head on this one tastes like Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> it just does, man. Can't help it. Get off in there. All right. Now, I don't know how widely available this is. You may not be able to get this where you live. But, and, and I have a limited uh, amount that I can get to. I'm in Middle Tennessee, and this is way up there in East Tennessee. And uh, I've, I've been able to get a hold of, like, this is their third beer, beer, third brew that I've been able to get a hold of. Uh, and they may have a, more, a couple more out there. I just hadn't found them. But usually I find these at a liquor store. I uh, found a couple at Kroger. Um, but I got this one at the World Market there in Murfreesboro. Um, and, you know, depending on where you are, you may have a world market available to you. You may be able to get it. I don't know. But anyway... Blackberry Farm Pilsner, BFB Pilsner, 5% alcohol by volume, pretty brew, look at that lace, check that out. I mean, to me that just says quality when you have a beer that'll do that. The head's about dissipated now, of course I took a couple of sips of it, but man, it's just a pretty brew. It's got just a tad of haze to it, it's not completely bright just a little bit of haze in that, which is a little bit unusual to me. I mean, usually I'm thinking of Pilsner, I'm thinking bright, bright beer, man, just clear as a crystal, beautiful. This one has a little bit of haze to it, and but that lace in there. Mm. All right, so this Blackberry Farm Pilsner is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for what you do to support yourselves and your families, pay your own way, and support our economy. 
because we all depend on each other, y'all. Uh, regardless of where you want to admit it or not, we all depend on each other for goods and services, and we need to love and appreciate everybody we come in contact with, man, because we don't know other people's struggles. Um, just love and appreciate everybody, y'all. It, it, it don't matter. We're all people. We're all Americans. You know, love and appreciate everybody, even if you're not American. I mean, you know, we all share this planet. Just love and appreciate everybody, y'all. Dad, go. Man, life's too short to go around hating and being mean to people. It's just the way it is, y'all. Y'all just, mm, whatever. <laughs> I'm a big old soft. Anyway, this is for all American workers. Thank you for what you do. Love and appreciate y'all. That's just as smooth and delicious, but I tell you, I mean, it tastes so much like Pat's Blue Ribbon, y'all. It tastes so much like Pat's Blue Ribbon, and I love Pat's Blue Ribbon. And if y'all have watched any of my videos from way back, I had a bad experience with Pat's Blue Ribbon when I was a kid. Well, I, you know, younger, younger. And I, I wouldn't try Pat's Blue Ribbon again, I mean, until a couple, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, my brother-in-law said, man, you're crazy. You need to try it again. It's good beer. And I finally broke down and did and found out I really, really like Pat's Blue Ribbon, y'all. And I had a hard time finding it, especially in a bottle. I was looking in Murfreesboro, looking at all these places, and I found some in Nashville. I found some Pat's Blue Ribbon in bottles in Nashville. But I'd already spent like 50 bucks on other beers, so I didn't buy it then. And I was like, well, crap, I'll probably never find it again. Well, I'll be dying, man. I went and took the trash off about three miles down the road here. There's a convenience store beside the dump. And I just stopped in there, you know, I was going to get a biscuit or whatever, and found they got Pat's Blue Ribbon in the bottle in that convenience store, not three miles from my house. <laughs> so I've been appreciating some Pat's Blue Ribbon, and this stuff is a lot like it. I got to tell you, this is really good brew. That is just, mm. <laughs> oh, I just love beer, y'all. And I feel like, cause I'm by myself, y'all. You know, my wife don't drink. She'll take a drink of a beer every now and then, but she don't really, you know, whatever. And I got no, I work 12 hour days, all right? So I got very little social life at all, man. <laughs> I just, I work 12 hour days, days off. I come out and make videos, do stuff like that, but I don't have anybody to hang out with. I don't. Man, so I gotta enjoy my beer by myself, and I hate that. So, hey, if y'all ever in Bell Buckle, look up old Uncle Bub and have a beer with me, man. If I'm off work, I'd be glad to have one with you. <laughs> mm. All right, so that's been Tennessee Thirsty Thursday for this week. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. If y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug right here. If you're on your computer, if you're on your phone, I don't even know if you can see that little beer mug, you may not be able to see it. Anyway, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Trying a different beer for you. Saluting an American worker. Letting y'all know that I love and appreciate all y'all. I don't care what you believe. I don't care your religion. I don't care. Love and appreciate everybody. So, I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday's all for you. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers, y'all.